Hello, today I will go over how to play a video using Pro Video Player with a single channel output. First, open Pro Video Player 3. Create new show. You can leave it on custom and leave it as this if you are doing a single output. First thing you do when you see this screen is I like to select action. Drag my videos I would like to play back for this session. They want to listen to these four, they want these four videos. I drag all these into my cues, drop it, and then I assign each video. This is assigning the video to my target. All my videos are now assigned. And these are all my cues. I can go up and down on my cues. And now as you see, it's auto launching every cue. I do not want that. So you can pause, stop the video. Go into your pro video player settings, preferences, two step. Almost everybody I know puts it on two step. This is the easiest way to operate. This is also how you would trigger it with a third-party device such as a Stream Deck. So now as I go back to my videos, I could select each video as you see the blue box around it. When I'm ready to launch the video, enter, plays the video, and there's your output. Now if you would like to adjust the video, any video you would like to adjust, you go on the video where it says the file name below it, right click, and go to Inspector. On Inspector, you have settings of info, shows all your properties, your name, here's your properties, so you can fill horizontal, vertical, scale to fit, effects, and audio. This is the audio section you will be in. When you change the audio for a video, as is if I am playing one right now, I'm going to select the second video and play it. And then let the audio turn down. As you see, it did not affect it. Currently, if I stop the video and then relaunch the video, now the audio is significantly lower. Any changes that are made on Inspector, the video has to be cleared and then relaunched. One other um, feature that you must Make sure it's on if your output is only seeing your desktop background. Make sure it says output status on. Make sure that's on. It's either off, which shows the desktop background, or on, which shows your output. As you're playing a your video under master, you have clear, you have mute, you also have hide, which is sends nothing on your output. This mutes all the audio, obviously, and this clears your video. The other things you have is you also have forward, fast forward, 15 seconds, go back, go to end. When you import a video, they give you the option under preferences, under import, you can do your scaling, which I always leave it on stretch to fill, so it just fills your entire raster. You also have playback behavior. When you import it, do you want it to stop or loop on your first import? You can also change that behavior when you right click on the video, stop, loop. So this one is set to loop. Right now, as, as you see, they're all set to loop. If I want this one to stop at the end, stop, and now it's set to stop. Also has the feature of hold last frame. If you want it to go black after the video finishes, if you want it to fade to black, 
that is pretty much the entirety of playing a single channel output. There is a way to do multiple channel outputs. That would be a different video. Thank you for your time and have a great day.